the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Love you. What? God gave, if you are a believer, not a person of the law, but a person of Christ, we give an acceptable, we have given an acceptable offering. And even because of mercy and grace, we are given an offering that is acceptable to God by faith in Jesus Christ in the blood that he has given us. We have an offering that is acceptable by God. And all we have to do is believe. Romans 10, 9, 10, 9, what? It's Romans 10, verse 9. That if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and shalt believe in thy heart that God is raised from the dead, thou shalt be saved. There's a, see, Jesus is the sacrifice that God raised from the dead. But his death, the blood that was shed, is the offering for the world. That's what John 3.16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. And whosoever believes in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. In other words, the offering, the acceptable offering is Jesus Christ. That's my acceptable offering to God. It's Jesus Christ who he gave for me and for you, right? For verse 10 in Romans 10, 9 and 10, verse 10, for with the heart man believes unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made to salvation. So the fact is, I'm saying is, as a believer, you have the acceptable offering of God. That's your offering that's pleasing to God. That's the offering that is pleasing to God. That's the offering that is pleasing to God. That is the offering that is pleasing to God. If you're not doing and using Jesus Christ, God's offering given to us for our remission of sin, then you would not get, then what offering are you giving to him and why, is, do you think, why do you believe that offering is acceptable to him? Knowing that Jesus is the acceptable offering. And if you're not using Jesus as the foreshadow, all those other animals were foreshadows. But if you're not using Jesus Christ for the offering, then the, just like Cain hated Abel, the world hates you because you are not giving because you're pleasing God. I mean, that's what the scripture says here, what Jesus said. And let's go to the, back to the scriptures again. I thought it was interesting. This is Jesus talking. This is John 15, 18. If, if the world hates you, you know it hated me before it hated you. I think even Cain got wroth and angry with God. And he said it, you know. Verse 19, if you were of the world, look at this, the world will love his own. Cain, Cain obviously was, was a representative, representative of the world. And if Abel had sit there and lined up with him and start giving corn and, and wheat and, and, and other things for God, then Cain probably would love Abel, right? But Abel was doing what God told him to do and was accepted his offer. But since the world is not giving an offering to God, is the world wrath with God, angry with God? and angry with you because you're pleasing God. He says, verse 19, if you are the world, the world would love his own. 
For because you are not in the world, but I have chose you out of the world, therefore the world hated you. Remember the words I said unto you, the servant is not greater than his Lord. If they have persecuted me, Jesus said, they will also persecute you. And if they have kept my saying, they will keep yours also. But all things will, but all these things will they do unto you for my name's sake because they know him, they know not him that sent me. Next scripture. If I had not come and spoken unto them, they had not had sinned, but now they have no cloak for their sin. He that hates me hates my father also. If I had not done among them the works which none other man did, they had not had sinned. But now they have both seen and hated both me and my father. But this comes to pass, that the word might be fulfilled, that is written in the law, they hated me without a cause. I'm pretty sure Abel was trying to say, why did they hate me? Yeah, because he pleased God. And the world hates God. But when the comforters come, whom I will send unto you from the Father, even the Spirit of truth will proceed from the Father, he shall testify of me. The Holy Spirit shall testify. And you also, that's what we're doing, right? You also shall bear witness because you have been with me from the beginning. They answered. This is this is uh this is interesting. I told you that the world hates you because you're pleasing God, because you are using the gift given to you, which is the offering of the acceptable offering of God, Jesus Christ. See, therefore, I'm saying those who want to do it by the law, then you need to go ahead and give the offering that's acceptable to God. And I can tell you right now, animal offering is no longer acceptable. It was all, all those things were foreshadowing of Jesus Christ. But if you're going to still live by the law, then you need to keep foreshadowing. And the Bible said without remission of blood, or without blood, there is no remission of sin. If you're going to do that. And I think that's where the bitterness is going on today as far as the uh, as far as the relationship between man and God is without Jesus Christ you can't give an acceptable offering and you're not even given if you're not given an offering which is blood offering for God which is what Adam and Eve and Cain and Abel was doing all the way back in Genesis because the, the scripture that the Bible is saying is without blood there's no remission of sin so if you're not believing and trusting in the blood of Jesus as the acceptable offering then you have and then you can't sit there and, and, and not follow Jesus Christ what he said a lot of people are going against what he said and want to do their own thing. The son that want to sit there and hate other people and sit there and say that 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 because God did in the Old Testament, and it was refer it was also mentioned uh, in, in Romans about the the uh, Esau. But the bottom line is that God told you, Christ gave I mean, the acceptable offerings gave you a commandment. In John 13, 34, a new commandment I give it to you that you love one another as I loved you, that you all should love one another. That's what the acceptable offering told you. John 3, 16, God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. Whoso believes in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. That is what the acceptable offering gave you to do. Some people will sit there and say, no, no, I will do it now. The, he said to love one another. Even though you want to discipline somebody, discipline them in love. If you want to sit there and child somebody, teach somebody, help somebody learn something, do it in love. 
because that's what he told you to do. You know, you raise a child, sometimes you, you discipline that child, right? But you do it in love. If you do it in hate, then you're, 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 you're out of order, right? So the bottom line is you've been called to, to use the gift that's given, which is the acceptable offering. And the world hates you because you are pleasing God. Because the acceptable offering now to God is Jesus Christ, the son that he sent. And it doesn't matter what y'all sit there and talk about curse and all that other stuff. It doesn't matter that if you go by the blood, the blood of Jesus Christ addresses the transgression, addresses the curse that is given. And the world hates creep, true believers, not people entitled, the people who are actually doing his will. He said, if you, if, you, if you love me, you keep my commandments. Huh? We're supposed to do the will of God. And the will of the Son, the work of God, is to believe in His Son. What is His Son? The acceptable offering. God is pleased with the offering that He has given us to use for our sin. Most people got a problem with that because most people sit there saying, oh, you got to do it by the law. You sit there saying, no, if I do it by his commandments, I fulfill the law. Because the love says I shouldn't kill. The love says that I shouldn't steal. The love, the love says I should not covet my neighbor. The love of God says I shouldn't give false witness to, my, to other people. The love of God says there's a relationship with God that we're supposed to have. So we love God. The Bible said, love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, with all thy soul, with all thy strength, and all thy mind. And to love thy neighbors as self. That's what the roll up of the two great commandments are. To love. And to have sit there and have a problem with love. You got to ask yourself, do I have a problem with God? Do I hate God because I don't want to follow his commandments? He, Christ is the acceptable offering and the world hates you because you're not going by the acceptable offering. Listen to what I'm saying. It's not, it's not an option. It's, it, you, Christ is the acceptable offering. John 3, 16, God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son and whosoever believes in him shall not perish with everlasting life. You have, we have the acceptable offering. Cain did not have the acceptable offering. And he killed Abel, who gave an acceptable offering. The world hates you because you have given, and I continue to give the offering, the blood that was given to us to redeem us from our sin. That is the acceptable offering. And the world hates you because you are pleasing God. Those who are believing and trusting in the offer of God. But if you're sitting there, even you, if you hate somebody who received Jesus Christ, their personal Lord and Savior, and if you hate them, you got to ask yourself, wait a minute. They just took the, they just showed that they're pleasing God by using acceptable offering. Therefore, they now are in the kingdom and they, just like you, are being wrought and shaped by God because you have the offering before you. Deep, right? The offering is before you. That's, it's not, it's not where you go around it. You have the sudden offering. And the world, just like Cain, Cain represents the world, hates you and wants to kill you because you please God. Jesus said, they persecuted me, they persecute you. If you're not being persecuted, you gotta ask yourself, baby, what's the issue, right? <laughs> if, I, if, I, if I'm using this acceptable offering, which is God, Jesus Christ, amen? Jesus Christ is the acceptable offering. God sent his own offering to, to, to address mankind and the hate that mankind has. And therefore I use this scripture and wrote in uh, John 8, to show you that if you are not pleasing God, then you're pleasing the devil. And let's go and let's look at it. This is John 8, 39. They answered and said to him, Abraham is our father. Jesus said unto them, if you were Abraham's children, 
you would do the works of Abraham. But now you seek to kill me. Look at this. He talking about the fact is, just like Cain sought to kill Abel, the children of Israel sought to kill Jesus. But now you seek to kill me, a man that has told you what? The truth. People mad. The world hates you because you're trying to give the truth, preach the truth, teach the truth. And that's what all the saints are equipped to do the work of the ministry is supposed to do. Ministries out there today, people going to church today, they're going today to hear the word of God and get equipped to do the work of the ministry. And now we need to understand that if you're doing the work of the ministry, you're talking about the truth that's given to you, the world hates you because you're not pleasing God. But if you're pleasing God, excuse me, if you're pleasing God, the world hates you. And you need to understand you, we are all pleasing God in Christ Jesus. What? We're all pleasing God in Christ Jesus and the world hates you because you are pleasing God through Jesus Christ. That's who you confess your personal Lord and Savior. But the world hates you and seeks to kill you as well because you're pleasing God. I'm pleasing God through the blood of Jesus Christ. I'm doing that with the acceptable to God because I am doing it in Christ Jesus. Huh? And Jesus Christ is the one that gives me the commandment to love one another. Amen? But look what it's sitting there saying. Jesus sit there and said in verse 41, ye do the deeds of your father. Then they said unto him, we be not born of fornication. We have one father, even God. Jesus said unto them, if God were your father, you would love me. Now it's interesting. If God is your father, you would love me. Just about Jesus. And Jesus in there telling me that if you are in Christ Jesus, then you should love one another. And that's why the world hated Jesus, because Jesus is who does the will of God. And if you hate somebody, you got to ask yourself, am I doing the will of God? Am I going with the offering that's given to me? Because it's a gift, but if you don't use that gift, then what's the purpose? Of, what good is the gift if it's not being used? And it's being used, then you do the commandment of him. But he's sitting there saying, even these people, if you were a... If, if God was your father, you would love me. For I proceeded forth and came from God. Neither came I of myself, but he sent me. And Jesus sent us. <laughs> Come on, bro. And if they persecuted Jesus, they'll persecute you. But you got to understand what Jesus told you, you're supposed to do. Jesus gave us the word. Then look at it, why the world hates you. Check this out. Why do ye not understand my speech? Even because you cannot hear my word. You are your father, the devil, and the lust of your father ye will do. He was a murderer from the beginning and a bold not in the truth, because there is no truth in him. When he speaketh a lie, he speaketh of his own, for he is a liar and the father of it. And because I tell you the truth, you believe me not. Which of you convinces me of sin? And if I say the truth, why do you believe? Why do you not believe me? He that is of God hears God's word. Therefore, hear them not. Therefore, you therefore hear them not because you're not of God. The point is that the world does not hear God because they hate God. And then the world wants you to go back to the law so that you can now please the world instead of pleasing God. Love, he said, you, if you ever have children, then you will love me because I proceeded from God. All of us are in the body of Christ. All of us have the acceptable offering, which is Jesus Christ. God has received our offering, but the world doesn't want to give, just like Cain didn't want to give the acceptable offering, the world doesn't want to do it either. And therefore they hate you because you're pleasing God. That's what I was looking at them, and you are being hated because you are pleasing God. Deep, ain't it? You're pleasing God because you are doing his commandments. You are using Jesus Christ as the acceptable offering to God. That's why he said, confess with your mouth to the Lord Jesus. Believe in your heart that God is raised from the dead. Because 
that raising from the dead means that that offering was given to God. And it was he was raised up from the dead to enforce and ensure that that promise was made to anybody received. God came into the world not, Jesus came into the world not to condemn the world, but to save the world. Are we going to do much less? Well, that's okay for the fact is that you may not accept that, but you understand this, the world hates you because they don't have an acceptable offering to God. You understand where we're coming from? They do not have an acceptable offering to God. Therefore, you cannot please God. Cain tried to give, do it his, his way. Cain tried to do it his way, which is to, I'm going to give, I'm not going to give a blood sacrifice. I'm not going to use one of Abel's animals. I'm not going to hunt for my own. I'm going to go give my corn, my cucumbers, and all that stuff. I'm going to put it on the fire. And God is going to accept them because I chose to do it that way. And then he got angry because God did not accept his offering. What I'm telling you is that it's, it's impossible for you not to give the separate offering as long as it's Jesus Christ. Not to say Jesus is going to go back on the cross again, because that's not what I'm saying. He has already done that. He's already given an acceptable offering. And now he's given it to us as a acceptable offering to God. But the world, if you try to do the world's way, and there's many different ways where this is the road, the, the road draws the way to destruction. And there is a path, and few that find the path, as long as you're trying to do it your way, you're not operating the path that Jesus said. Jesus said in John 14, 6, I am the way, the truth, and life. No one comes to the Father but by me. That is the gospel. That is the truth. You have an acceptable offering. The world hates you because it has no acceptable offering to God. Even though they try to come different ways to do it. They, they're not given. They're not. They don't understand. Even if you, if the Hebrews and the Jews start going back to the temple and try to do the law. Even if you try to do the law, that is not an acceptable offering to God. And therefore, you're mad because you're not giving God a acceptable offering. You're not pleasing him because you're not trusting in what he can do in you and in your fellow believers, your brothers and your sisters. See, you hate your brother and sister who comes from the world because they are using the acceptable offering unto God. They're doing that and they're doing it right. We're doing it because it's Jesus' blood that matters anyway. It's Jesus' commandment that matters anyway. <laughs> if you got you, but you see, the, sometimes we don't want to do the acceptable pleasing of God because we some of us don't want to forgive nobody. See, so therefore you you try to say God loves me, but I'm not going to forgive somebody else. And now you think that you have given a settled offering to God. That Jesus is the acceptable offering of God, and what Jesus told you to do is the acceptable way. But Jesus said, I am the way. If you try to love nothing or some pieces of God, Christianity, but you don't want to love the part about loving your brother and sister. If you want to go back to the law, say, I'm just telling you, the law is not an acceptable offering. Because Jesus Christ is the set of offering. That's why even the children of Israel, when they're using bloods of blood, bloods of boots and bulls and, and goats and stuff like that, it was not tell, it was not dealing with the inside. It was not changing the consciousness, right? But if you do the will of God, you do the will of God by understanding that you're using a set of offering, which is Jesus Christ. Whether you are a uh, 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 a laborer that's going great, doing great things and things of God, or whether you just somebody as a baby in Christ doing very little, you did, you have the offerings acceptable to God. And as long as you're doing the offerings acceptable to God, you are doing okay. You are doing well because you're using the acceptable will of God. You're using the acceptable offering of God, which is Jesus Christ. Deep. I have 
you have, if you in Christ Jesus, have the acceptable offering for God, to give to God. Jesus Christ is the acceptable offering. In his kingdom, the blood of Jesus Christ issues us into the kingdom of God. The blood of Jesus Christ has allowed the Holy Spirit to come and dwell in us and to work with us and to change us and to mold us. You see that? That's the truth. When the world don't want to hear the truth, they will get angry with God because they want to give an offering that's not acceptable to God. But you, those who hear this word today, I, I just want you to understand, we have the acceptable offering to give to God, which was given to us through Jesus Christ. We don't want to be a king. We don't want to be jealous of our brothers and sisters who are doing the will of God, the perfect will of God. Starts with receiving the perfect offering, which is Jesus Christ. Man, I love that. To, you know, and, and I hope somebody else get it, but that's okay. I got it. It's the acceptable will of God is to have and recognize that the acceptable offering is Jesus Christ. There's no other offering that matters. You can't give an offering to God in your flesh. You can't give an offering to God following the law. I told somebody the other day, what profit them that said they were doing the law? It didn't because they weren't fulfilling or following the law. They still want to do what they want to do. But God has said and said, there is an acceptable offering one. Jesus Christ is the acceptable offering. And if you get that man, woo, you got it. So I really hope that you enjoy this Bible study today. And, uh, and, and I like the fact that this is a virtual ministry and the whole purpose is just to teach the word of God and equip the believers to do the word of God. And I love it. I mean, I love it. You know, I love it sometimes. I love it when, when there's other people who are part of the panel that 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 uh, go ahead and go and get this revelation and pick up on a new revelation. But I love the fact that this is an opportunity to to please God by spreading the gospel where he sent us to preach and teach. And I know that these Bible studies reach somebody and if it was just one person yes makes a difference Bible said don't despise a small beginning it's not it's not all I'm supposed to do I like TDJ was saying all you're supposed to do is drive the bus all you're supposed to do is put it out there that what John the Baptist did too that what Jesus did too just go and go just preach the gospel and the gospel today is that you have an acceptable offering to God which is Jesus Christ. And the world hates you. Because the world is not given an acceptable offering. It's given a world offering. And it's not acceptable by God. And if some of you want to give hate, see I'm saying this, that's that's a good example. If you hate your brother, if you can't forgive your brother, you you're not using it, you operating in a, you're trying to sit there and say, I'm I'm operating on this acceptable offering, but I'm gonna do what I want to do. I want to treat people the way I want to treat them. I want to hate those I want to hate. I want to hate somebody because of the color of skin. I want to hate somebody whether you're black or white. They want to hate the person because of the color of skin. They want to sit there and go by the law. See, that's not a acceptable offering. The hate is not a acceptable offering. The only acceptable offering is Jesus Christ. And if Jesus Christ is your acceptable offering, then you do what Jesus told you to do. <laughs> Glory to God. Think about it. If you're going by the set of an offering, then you're doing what the offering told you to do. And the only way you can be pleased God is by the set of an offering of Jesus Christ. So if you sit there trying to do anything other than what God told you to do, you're not pleasing God. And I understand by some people, the world hates you. And if you are the world, even though you sit there and profess Jesus Christ, your personal Lord and Savior, but you don't want to do what he tells you to do, then are you up, you're not giving an offering except for God. And therefore, you could be just like Cain and hating your brother who's doing the will of God 
Abel was doing the will of God, Cain killed him. Jesus was doing the will of God in the world, killed him, persecuted him. But he still pleased the Father. And all really our ultimate goal is to be able to hear God say, well done, my good and faithful servant. You've been faithful over a few things. I'll make you rule over many. But the fact is you were faithful. And see, that's why I like the fact is of doing these things, these Bible, these Bible studies, this virtual ministry. It's because it's pleasing God. If, it, if it's just for me, <laughs> all I'm doing is pleasing God. That is acceptable. That's the motivation to do what I do. Amen. So God bless you. I hope you do listen to the video. And uh, we'll see you next Sunday. Amen. God bless you. Also.